What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So Nvidia just shared uh, their Wayland driver roadmap and um, it basically encourages Vulcan Wayland compositors and a whole bunch of us stuff. We're going to try to go over it and I'm going to try to keep my sanity when doing so. So uh, let's jump into this real quick. So as you can see, there's the title at the Xorg Developers Conference X. DC 2024 happening this week in Montreal, NVIDIA shared a roadmap around their Wayland plans, as well as encouraging Wayland compositors to target the Vulcan API, which I also completely friggin encourage. Uh, Mutter's doing it. I think Mutter's already kind of partially switched. Not too sure on that one for really yet, but uh, Austin Schaefer and James Jones of the NVIDIA Linux Unix team presented at XDC 2024. Excuse me. I forgot I had that on. Now, so we're going to go over these one by one because I want to open the image in a new panel. And we're going to zoom, 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 zoom. So Explicit Sync has finally landed. GL Native and Max Wayland. Vulcan is supported. Contributed Multer, uh, Mutter and X Wayland uh, implementations of the Lib DRM Sync. You know, we finally got rid of Explicit Sync and thank God for that. It was an awful implementation. We are continuing to work through the reported issues, which is true they are. XGL on X Wayland, NFFBC support for Wayland via XDG desktop portal, and HDR color accuracies fixes are on the way. So they're going to be fixing HDR not working with Mutter and KDE, which is great. Now, uh, they shared NVIDIA has been ramping up the internal Wayland testing among the features they plan to pursue the upstream high dynamic range. Uh, color pipeline user API. They are also looking at internal display muxing on Wayland, enabling the FDP, FD dev and mod set kernel module parameters option options for the drivers by default. So you wouldn't need to put them in anymore. And NVIDIA settings utility under Wayland being read only settings. So let's open this one up in a new image and take a look. We're going to once again, super zoom. So ramping up our internal Wayland testing, looking for support in HDR, DRM, and yada, 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 so on and so forth, Moxing. Yeah, it's kind of great that they're doing this. And they also have additional plans. So remote desktop, use case, fully remote, launch session on a physical display, get remote access, ease of use, in very compositor dependent. Uh, Windows management controls, automatic, automating Windows resizing, minimizing, you know what, all of that stuff. Uh, potential solutions for Y.Tool and K.Tool, etc. And is there any need for this in the community? And uh, yeah, this is this is pretty cool. And then they went on to Vulkan. So why Vulkan? Vulcan's, Vulcan's explicit design can be advantageous for implementing compositors. Uh, who's this talk for? New compositors and and compositors with multiple supported APIs. Not suggesting every compositor should switch. Vulcan is a perfect civil bullet. <laughs> okay. Goal is to promote discretion. Great. Devices in Vulcan. So multi-device awareness, uh, physical devices, emulating device groups, VQs, etc. No need for tracking current contexts. You name it. There's, there's just so much stuff that they want to do. And honestly, I'm really impressed with the fact that they want to do all this. And it's like, we can probably expect a new driver this week or next, or possibly on the 20th is my guess. 21st, maybe even the 14th, because that's a Monday. I mean, it would all add up with everything that's going on and a new driver would be very welcome. It's going to fix uh, VRR on multiple displays, HDR on multiple displays. It should fix a lot of uh weird little bugs and i think that would probably be the most epic thing and i guess this goes against all those people that are literally saying hey guess what nvidia is not working towards better wayland support this is called being wrong and uh as long as you're man enough to admit that you're wrong i mean i'm totally with you so again there it is so this is the PDF I'm going to link in the description below all about the advantages of Vulkan. And you can pause at any time if you want to read it this way. It'll be there. Like, there's just so much stuff that they want to do. Multi-device awareness and miscellaneous minus advantages. And, like, they make really good PDFs. And I'm really, really kind of happy to uh, be an NVIDIA user when most people wouldn't. 
Anyway, to all the naysayers out there who are still crapping on NVIDIA, well, you kind of look bad, don't you? NVIDIA has been working towards this goal for the last three to four years now, and it's finally coming into full effect, and I am very, very proud of them for everything they're doing, and I'm very thankful for them in the community of Linux, and everybody should be as well, because they're moving towards a new way of life in Linux for NVIDIA users, and uh, that's my chicken. I'm very proud of them. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video. I'm sorry I don't have a different type of Linux video for you today. Linux sometimes ramps up and then goes slow. And I'm still working on the open bar video. I need to find out what every setting does and I need to like do a very in-depth video on it. I don't want to rush through it, so I hope you guys understand that. Till the next one. Bye, everybody. Sorry about no stream tonight, but I'm just too tired. You can tell we do bigs under my eyes.